welcome back to my channel my name is Joan and if this is your first time welcome today I'll be making butternut squash soup and spaghetti squash I found the recipe for the butternut squash soup on Pinterest and I tried it and it was delicious and I'm making spaghetti squash too Here how it all began. My mom and I visited some friends over the weekend and they had butternut squash in their garden and they offered us some so the, he gave us two big butternut squash as you can see I'm trying to cut it up. It's very hard to cut sometimes the butternut squash but it's nice and ripe so we told them we're going to try making some butternut squash soup because the wife said that she always uh, make butternut squash soup and it comes up so good. So we decided to try it, so I look on Pinterest and I got the recipe for the butternut squash soup and I tried one recipe, it has so many different recipes for butternut squash soup and the other week, the next week my daughter used the other squash because it was two, we had two butternut squash. She used the other one and she made a roasted butternut squash soup and hers was so delicious, it was really good. So this is what I'm doing, I'm just cutting up the butternut squash. As I mentioned, it's hard to cut, but once it's done, you know, it's done. And next, I'm cutting up some garlic, and I cut up already the butternut squash, as you can see here, and some onions. So I had to cut all of these ingredients up. As you can see, my iPad is right in the background here with the recipe that I tried to follow. So, um, so this is it. This is me cutting up the ingredients to try to put everything together for the soup. And I think I put ginger too. I had to add some ginger, some um, chopped ginger, chopped garlic, chopped onions, and you know, all the good stuff. Yes, um, you couldn't see me, but what I'm doing is cutting up the, chopping up the, the ginger to bring onto the counter. And this is the ginger chopped up. This soup was so delicious. It came out thick, but the only thing you have to do is just add a little chicken broth or vegetable broth to it. If you find it's too thick, and that's all you got to do. So I'm preparing the pot with some um, olive oil and um, putting the onions in there. I have to saute the onions with all the other ingredients, the garlic, the ginger, and so forth. And then I add the chopped um, butternut squash and just mix everything up together with the spices and the seasoning and all the ingredients that it calls for. And that's what I'm doing here. And this is how it looks so far. But the nut is so easy to cook. It's, you know, they get tender really quick. And this is how the soup looks. And that's the butternut squash soup. I didn't show you that part, but I had to blend all the ingredients in the blender with chicken vegetable stock or chicken stock, and that's what I did to make the soup. Uh, I didn't get to show you all that part, but that's what that's how it looks now after making the soup and blending everything together. And now I'm doing this um, spaghetti squash. That's what I'm doing now. It's in the oven roasting. I have to roast it till it gets soft in the oven. And that's what is being done here. And 
that that's the finished um, squash is finished cook and I just have to take the seeds out now this is a cook squash I'm taking the seeds out and then I'm gonna start taking the spaghetti part out and it's just like spaghetti but it's just vegetables so and it's really it was so delicious you know when I finished with everything I put a little olive oil and just put it back on the stove and just saute it a little bit and it was so delicious and I had that with some salmon <laughs> it was really really good so that's what I'm doing just taking the seeds out because there's a lot of seeds and some of them are hidden all between the, the spaghetti so I have to make sure all the seeds are out and now for the fun part now I'm going to try to spaghetti it now, take all this stuff out, and you're going to see how it looks just like spaghetti. So it's just spaghetti in a plant. <laughs> so delicious. And it's veggies, so. I mean, you still have to be careful how much you eat. It's, you know, it's vegetable, but, but it's still better than the real pasta. That's it, just taking out it, put it in, the, in another pot. And that's what I'm doing. And this is the finished product. This is the spaghetti squash, just like spaghetti. So as I mentioned, I just put a little olive oil in there, put it back on the stove, and just heat it up a little bit, mix it around, and serve it with some salmon, and call it the day.